Hello all of you, truth seekers and risk takers to podcast Life the Butterfield. Today we dig deep into investigation of Ruby Frankie. She's a social media influencer and her art of fraud, deception and lies exposed to this investigation. No opinions, just the facts. For those who don't know, I'd like to share some statistics. Social media, it's used by 60% of the world population. 60%. The average daily usage is 2 hours and 24 minutes. In order to gain advice, motivation, and possibly you get tutorial on how to become the better bodybuilder, get a better physique, become better chef, or perhaps become better mother. Now, you may be wondering why is that? What's the point of social media? What is the point? Did you ever ask yourself why this? Well, let me share with you three things. It's a simple, convenient, and rapid search. Imagine if you need to travel to the library and read the books. In my times, in last century, when I was going to primary school, high school, university, I need to rush into a library, city library, not just the university library or the high school library. I need to have like a 10, 20 books I need to read. I'm like, oh my God, I need to read all these books. Now today, Social media offer simple, convenient, and rapid search. However, with social media come an era of influencers. And influencers who are frosters, liars, and fakers. And above all, there's a generation of influencers who haven't even finished high school, but you're taking advice, advice from them. And influencers who will use their own children for fame and glory. Influencers who will molest their own children just to get a piece of the market. And one of them is a Ruby Frank. But before we start investigating Ruby Frank, and you may ask yourself, how are we investigating somebody? As I say, fact, no opinion. My name is Mario Beckes, and I'm the Guinness World Record holder in 2023. My past experience and current experience involves almost 14 years in government sector, investigating and interrogating the criminals, fraudsters, spies, and list goes on. As well, I follow in the framework which I wrote in Corporate and Workplace Investigation book together with uh, Professor Clive Smallman. Feel free, you know, go to my website, mariobeckers.com.au. There's a book there if you like to have. So I'm following the framework. Facts, no opinions. But let's go back to the Ruby Frank and uh, let's go talk about, about mega influences. A majority of Instagram mega influences with uh, more than 1 million followers worldwide were involved in what? Fraudulent activities to inflate their engagement and follower figures in 2022. Mega influencers involved in fraud were 58.90% of the total in 2022. The average share of influence involved in fraud in the same year was 49.32%, according to website statista.com. Who is the Ruby Frank? Ruby Frank, she is a YouTube mother. Nowadays, social media has the ability to catapult ordinary people to extraordinary fame in a very short amount of time. And today, topic will be Ruby Frank, spectacular journey to prominence. Ruby, she had a channel called Eight Travelers and had around 2.5 million subscribers who watch her film her life with her husband, Kevin, and they six children. And I'm sure, I'm very sure, that you all heard about popular YouTuber Ruby Frank arrest and why she is arrested. Channel 8 passengers praise Ruby and Kevin's parenting style, which includes homeschooling the children as well as their Mormon faith. Let me stop here. So, this, the evolved faith makes me upset how the people hiding themselves or they adapting, adjusting and improvising what they are in their current world, let's say Mormons, faith, whatever it is, and then, then say like, look at us, how we homeschooling our children. And reality it is that these people actually molested their own children. Now, why Ruby, she's been charged. Ruby has now been charged with two charges of serious child abuse, which is a harsher reality. I created a list of the facts behind Ruby Frank's allegations. 
So let's go dig deep into this. So you may ask yourself, who is she, Ruby Frank, apart of being YouTube mother? Ruby Frank, she's a 41 years old Mormon mother of six from Ivan's Utah. Her most well-known social media site is her once popular YouTube channel called Eight Passengers. Since the channel launched in 2015, Frankie has documented that sometimes intimate, sometimes mundane details of family life in over 1,000 videos, amassing around 2.3 million members. So 2.3 million people on this planet was watching what she was doing in her life with family and kids. Some of her most successful films depict her children during the most vulnerable adolescent stage, learning to shave, putting on new clothes, and dealing with reprimands. Frank discussed her reasoning for real-time parenting decision while holding out her arms in self-portrait position and making eye contact with the camera. Her lessons contain subtle reference to traditional values or spiritual connotations. That being said, her YouTube account, A Passengers, was taken down early this year due to noticeable increase in what? In criticism. May you ask yourself why the YouTube channel, A Passengers, was so divisive? Prior to Frank imprisonment, a number of other producers, blogs, and films detailed numerous examples of what they considered poisonous behavior. You heard me right, poisonous behavior. Some of the criticism is directed at the overall tone of the content, stating that Frankie, or Frank, is one of the many content producers who force young children to trade their privacy for money, 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 of course, what else? Ruby's fans began to criticize her because she's preached a brutally strict upbringing. Perhaps this is the moment value and tradition, but she was very brutal. The footage showing Ruby's son being forced to lie on a bean bag for six months as a punishment was the most contentious of the, these attacks. Ruby had to take down her prominent YouTube account after fans began bringing social workers to her house. Now, let me just give you the little bit context into my upbringing. My parents, I, I grew up in communism and my parents didn't know nothing better. So they brought what their parents did to them. So my mom, she used to be punished me. You know, I need to be kneeled on, you know, in a corner on, on, a, on a cone, right? And it wasn't pleasant, but not for six months, maybe 20 minutes, 50 minutes. And then she said like, are you punished? And I will cry. Yes, of course. My parents was very brutal parents but not what Ruby she was doing to her own children in 21st century. I mean, it doesn't make a sense. Anyway, Frank has already threatened to take away meals as a punishment in prior recordings. Can you imagine? I'll not give my kids meal. You need to do recording first. The other further videos depicting uh, Frank at the threatening to cut off her child teddy bear's head. I mean, robbing children of Christmas presents and sending her older son to behavioral camp where youngsters spend at least 49 days in the woods with no equipment. I mean, really, as a parent, I wondered, as do you, <laughs> how such an attitude and advice can get 2.3 million followers? What exactly is Connections and what exactly is Jody Hildebrand? At the same time, she stopped posting on A Travelers. Frank began appearing in another video series, Connections Classroom. Connections describes itself as a mental health curriculum and counseling service that is founded on flawless honesty, rigorous personal accountability, and vulnerable humility. According to the Salt Lake Tribune, the company creators, Jody Hildebrand, is a therapist whose license, pay attention, was canceled in 2012, after she reported a patient porn addiction to leaders at his Mormon church. Now, of course, Frank and Hildebrand have regularly appeared in videos and podcasts together, most recently, a few weeks ago. The two share values-based teachings on topics such as blame, control, and denial, as well as a family life observation. What do you think about this friendship connection? 
between the therapist whose license has been cancelled and the mother who is being critiqued on our YouTube channel because she molested her own children. But you may ask yourself, what caused a Frank and Hildebrandt arrest? According to a police report provided by the Santa Clara Public Safety Officer Ivins, Frank's 12-year-old son jumped out of the window of Hildebrandt Ivins' home around 10.50 a.m. Wednesday a few weeks ago. That is the happened. He hurried over to neighbor looking for a food and drink. I mean, your own child jumps and run out of the house to the neighbor for what? To food and drink. After discovering duct tape around the child's ankles and wrists, a neighbor called authorities, police, and obviously uh, Department of Child Protection and who knows who. The officer stated that the youngsters appeared to be very hungry and had a deep cuts from being tied up with a rope. I mean, who is tying up their own children with a rope? How sadistic you must be. How, you know, like what it boils my blood. I should be supposed to not to be uh, biased, but uh, I am, you know, I am because it upsets me to see how the children has been mistreated. But the same token, you made it your kids. You make it your kids main actors in your social media so you can make it money but yet you are torturing your own children now the the child was being transferred to local hospital while police searched hildebrand's home they discovered frank and machitate 10 years old daughter there she was also taken to the hospital 10 years old daughter four of frank's children have been removed into the custody of the department of the children and family services according to a news release from the Santa Clara Ivins Department of Public Safety. Both Frank and Hildebrand were arrested on suspicions of two counts of aggravated child abuse. Child abuse, though no charges has been filled in the local court system yet. Frank declined to speak with investigators and wanted a counsel, according to affidavit. So I don't want to speak uh, with investigators, but you know I want to counsel them. What is I saying to you? She shared a photo of police officers visiting her childhood house with the word finally, which is said to disappear after 24 hours, according to many news sources who picked up the first claim. That's what's happened. Later, she said, and her family were overjoyed that justice was served and that they had been trying to tell the cops and the CPS about this four years ago. For four years, somebody tried to talk to the Child Protective Services and police. Four years, Ruby Frank, three sisters, all of whom hold position of influence in the family, stated in a single post that the arrest had to happen. So everybody know, everybody know what this woman she doing, but nobody does nothing. They're praying to God. They stated this, we have been silent about our sister Ruby Frank for the past three years due to her children. Behind the scenes, we have done everything possible to keep the children safe, they stated. The kids are now safe, which is the number one priority, of course. Now, what's the most recent news about Ruby Frank? According to people, Ruby Frank and Jody Hildebrand were both in prison. Of course, they are at the Utah County Jail and were suffering from health difficulties. Now they're suffering from the health difficulties. According to publication People, Ruby was sent to the block for medical observation before returning to normal prison conditions that following weekend. So she's in prison, she suffered some type of episode. They observed her, but they sent her back. All the specifics of Jody's medical problems are unknown. Her lawyer, <laughs> she lied, of course. But her lawyer informed a judge that she's been suffering from life-threatening medical problem that has resulted in hospitalization since her detention. Can you imagine those lies? I now have the life-threatening medical problems that resulted in hospitalization because I've been arrested. I apologize, the word is better to say detained. After everything, after everything we read, seen and heard, I'm left wondering, where our society is, and more importantly, where we are heading. Why we are allowing people to exploit their own children on social media for their own benefit. But no one, in Ruby Frank case, six children involving her husband and uh, 
counselor who lost the license like 11 years ago. Please let me know in the comment section below what do you think? Why the people are turning to social media to learn all these skills, including parenting from Ruby Frank. Thank you.